So, around 300 BC, a migration started, a migration that probably came from somewhere in Manchuria or Siberia or, or China or Korea, and it went across the strait to Japan, displacing the local Jomon people, which must have been there for about 4,000 years. And while this was displaced, the Japanese royal family found its place within the annals of history as well, if you look at the Kojiki, recorded around 900 AD. And the silly thing in that is, is that it is clearly described that the, the current Jomon people were not exterminated, but driven up north to the icy island of Hokkaido and the regions of Sendai and Niigata. And as you come in there, it is very, very clear that these people are still descended from these same Jomon people that lived there long ago. And well, it is very clear also what this has as an impact on the modern world. As you see, these Ainu people, as you, as you see it, perhaps they cuddle bears and they seem more peaceful, but they have strange customs and they try to invade Japan twice. Even Nichiren, the great Buddhist reformer who ended up on the island of Zedo in exile, even recorded in his great journey to the north how there were marauding Ainu bandits on the road. Now, you might think, well, that's not that big of a problem. That doesn't have an impact on the modern world. Well, think again, because Ainu women have a very special sense of style. They, it's true, they make their lips blue, but really, that's not what this is all about. No, you see, they tie their hair into bundles to the side of their head. Now, who else does that? Princess Leia? from Star Wars, and that's not all, that's not all, no, 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 it is very clear if you see at the helmet style of Darth Vader and at the kendo style of lightsaber fighting that much is taken from the Sengoku Jedi period of Japan from the 16th century and from there you can clearly see the shocking parallel. The, the empire of Star Wars is clearly meant to emulate 16th century Japanese court politics, whereas the rebellion is clearly the Ainu invasion of 1664, trying to take back the land that was once theirs. The Jomon has, have, have in some way been able to rise back up from the ashes of time to reclaim their rightful place in Western pop culture, and thereby we can clearly claim that the Ainu are white.